after a brief hiatus, TAME, the TAME organizers came to us and asked if we'd be willing to partner again, and of course we said yes. And so it's been off for a few years, and so response has been incredible. We have over 350 students and 84 teams from across the Texas Panhandle that came out to compete today. The maximum volume is 800 cubic centimeters, and that includes any parachutes or anything like that. The students were responsible for designing a device that fit those parameters and would cradle an egg from a 20-foot drop, and the goal is the egg will survive the fall. Oh my God, I'm going to explain what I have here. I've got a tape measure on the side of our lift here that's going to tell me exactly 20 feet. I'll go up exactly to 20 feet, rest my arms on the edge like this, and I'll drop your egg, okay? So it's going to be the same for everybody. Success rate's been probably 20%, 25% maybe. Um, my hope is that maybe next year students will see some things this year that they might want to borrow from other students for next year about what was successful and what wasn't. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, that's good. Okay, here we go. Three, We have volunteers from TAME and Pantex along with engineering students from Amarillo College who have done all of our scoring and they're in the engineering department and wanted to come out and help support, you know, kids learning more about engineering and possibly pursuing careers in engineering. It's awesome. I mean, these kids are great. I came in not knowing what to expect. I've never done an event like this, and these kids really surprised me. So I was one of the recycle judges, and the best part to me was seeing the use of materials. So in engineering, we're always talking about different materials. You know, how are we going to use it? How can we be efficient? And these kids literally picked up things around their house and made great designs that I couldn't have even thought of. So really proud of them. I was very surprised at some of the designs that worked and shocked at some that didn't. So I know these kids put a lot of hard work into this and it's heartbreaking to see these eggs break, but um, I saw a lot of good designs and a lot that worked. Don't give up. So math and science is always the hard subjects, but it's fun and it's a really rewarding path. And you can do anything with math and science and I just think it's great if these kids get involved early, catch them then, and they can grow up to do something awesome. So every little kid thinks it's cool to be an engineer and it is possible. And that's the message here today. in a box with glitter and then we put sponges and foam balls and put the egg in a sock cocoon but it didn't work. So what we did is we took just an old box we had lying around the house and some cotton balls and we stuffed it full of cotton balls and then we cut an empty water bottle in half and put the egg 
with cotton balls inside the bottle. It didn't sound right when it fell, it sounded like it broke. But it made it! like being able to put this competition on because the question we get asked the most as teachers, I was a former teacher, is where am I going to use this in the real world? Well, this takes a practical application. Now, we're not going to drop eggs from 20 foot in our real life, but construction and engineering principles are consistent. So this is a great way to kind of take those teaks and the learning that we do in the classroom and put it to work in the real world.